Minutes ago, we spoke with White House Budget Director Mick Mulvaney from the White House. Good morning, Charlie. Why do you think an ultimatum will work now with the caucus when it hasn't before? Because uh, I think you've got a new president in place and a president who tried to deliver the message last night, which is that the Republicans are all on the same page. Um, yesterday was the seventh anniversary of the signing of Obamacare. Today should be the beginning of its unwinding. We're all looking for the same things. We want to take Obamacare away and give people the control and the options that they want, but the quality that they deserve and the affordability that they need. But we need to start it and do it today. But to director, this plan, uh, polls suggest this plan is 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 very unpopular at this point. 56% of Americans disapprove of it. 74%, nearly three quarters, oppose cutting Medicare funding. Yeah, my, first of all, the, nothing here cuts Medicare, um, so I'm not sure where that's coming from. But Medicaid, the point of the matter is, me. that's fine. That's fine. Um, uh, I do that all the time. I'm, I'm sure that most folks don't know what's in the bill. We have made the bill much better over the course of the last weeks. Of course, it has to go to the Senate after this. My guess is most people don't know the Phase Two regulatory reforms or the Phase Three additional bills. The point of the matter is this: they know they don't like Obamacare. People back home know they don't like it. It takes the control of their own health care out of their hands. It takes affordability away from them and they want something better. What's sitting in the House today is better than that and this is the chance to pass it. Mr. Mulvaney, when you talk about something better, does that include the slashing of essential services, including maternity care, emergency services and prescription drugs? Sure, and I, I love the term slashing those essential services. Keep in mind, and I've talked to many of my colleagues about this over the last couple of days, states not only have the ability to require those services, many of them already do. I talked to some folks from the Northeast, and it's like, yeah, we don't really mind that much about essential health benefits because our states already require insurance policies sold in those states to have that. What we're doing is taking away the federal control of these systems. If you live in a state that wants to mandate maternity cover co coverage for everybody, including 60-year-old women, that's fine. But if you if, want to live in a there, state that you, wants to do it different, you, you can do that as well. What if you live in a state that doesn't do that? then you can figure out a way to change the state that you live in. Why do we look so to the federal move? government to tell? No, they could try to change their own state legislatures and their state laws. Why do we look to the federal government to try and fix our local problems? That's one of the big problems with Obamacare. It took that one size fits all and crammed it down on the entire country. As a result, you have a system where everybody just about could afford to have insurance, but nobody can actually afford to go to the doctor. And that's what we're trying to fix, and that's what the House bill does. There are many people who say it is not only members of Congress who are at risk here, it is the president's agenda that if he cannot get through a replacement health care, uh, that the rest of his agenda will be at risk. Uh, a couple different things on that. First of all, the rest of the agenda will stand on its own. The tax policy will stand on its own merits. The infrastructure policy will stand on its own marriage, the, the merits. The other efforts to put people back to work, of which this is one, by the way. There's excellent data from many sources that show that Obamacare depresses the, the desire to go to work. It takes an incentive away from going to work. So this is actually a jobs bill today on the House. But in, in any event, all of those other policies will stand on their own merit. But folks will still have to be accountable. Lawmakers will have have to be accountable as to why they didn't vote to get rid of Obamacare when they had the chance, and that chance is today. Uh, Mick Mulvaney, thank you for joining us. Thanks, y'all.